Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you how to set up the brand new Phi Series 3 dog collar. So I've had the Phi Series 2. This is the Series 2. This is the older one. I've had this for over a year now. It is getting pretty long in the tooth now. Uh, that I'm a little afraid this hinge might be starting to wear out, but it hasn't let me down yet. But I did upgrade and it is quite a bit smaller. That's what I was really wanting. This thing does seem pretty big, pretty heavy duty. Even the collar seems a little bit smaller. And the old charger, I didn't really like that much. It was kind of hard to get in there and stuff. This new one is magnetic. So you, it's got like a little magnetic part there. It's going to wirelessly charge like that. And then it plugs in with USB-C. It does come with the power adapter and USB-C cable. Well, that's micro USB, huh? I would have thought that would have been USB-C, but... Okay, so right off the bat, getting these collars on and off was really tricky. They give you this picture, but it's a little, it, it was hard to, it was hard to do. It should have been more specific, but there's this little lock. You're going to have to, it just, it's held on there with a magnet. This little piece here, you got to pull that back in order for this to slide on. I was trying to get this piece on for the longest time. Now there's a notch. The notch is going to go towards the side that doesn't have this part. Again, pull this back. And you're going to slide it on. Again, you got to get it kind of like a, at a past its center right there. Okay, now it's sliding on. Then rotate it up and then lock it. Okay. And then do the same. It'll only go one way. You can't get it backwards. Again, this lock, it just goes out of the way. Bend it at like a past a 90 degree angle. There. Now it slides on, rotates up. So it's very simple, but man, when I was looking at it, I could not figure it out. Now the part you plug into the wall, uh, you can plug it into 100 or 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. Output is five volts, one amp. Now one thing I do like about Phi is I do like their, their latches. Their latches are metal. It's very strong. I've never had this part fail. And on the old one, this one never failed on me once. I could just tell this was getting a little tricky. It was, it was coming in and out, yeah. Well, now I can't get it off. Oh yeah, it's up like this. That's right, it's up. It's the opposite. But that's starting to really wear like that. But again, it never failed me. Okay, so now let's charge it. I've got the charger plugged in. Probably gonna have to undo it. Okay, so we got a light. There's a light on the base also. Now they don't give you any manual, so let's go to the app and see what we can find. Okay, so when you open the map uh, app, click on the bottom right hand side, and now click on the three little dots. Now click collars. There's my other one, the, the, the two. Let's click add. So I gave it the name of my dog, and then I put a three after it. It wants to know the breed. Okay, so I gave it the name, and it wanted me to take a picture, or I could select a picture for this collar. I just took a picture of my dog. Okay, I didn't do anything. I just set the phone down next to it, and it looks like it's connected to it. Wow. So it looks like I've got two. That's the old one, and this is the Fiona 3. So it does come with some pretty good charge, 73%. That's nice. Okay, so if I go back to that place where I added the, the collar, I'm going to click unlink. So I want to unlink the old one. Now when I go back, I've just got the Phi 3. So this one is unlinked now, and I'll just be using the new one. But I'm probably going to have to call customer service. I think, you know, it wasn't really clear how the subscription was going to work. I know I got charged for this subscription. Then I also got a charge for this subscription, I think, too. So, I, you know, that if I'm upgrading, I shouldn't be charged for two, I wouldn't think. Okay, now it just says 52%. Okay, so let's turn the collar light on and off. There's the collar light. There's what it looks like. Let's turn it off. Now, I did get the large collar. So the large, you know, it's right about 20 inches. But with it retracted all the way, it's right at 16 inches. And with it out all the way, you're right at about 22 and a half inches. Yeah, this looks like it'll be really soft for the dog. It's 
really secure, a lot smaller inch and an eighth, you know, by about two and a half, not really thick at all. About three eighths of an inch thick. Okay, so Miss Fiona, we're gonna put her new collar on her and we're gonna go play around with it and see how it does. Okay, so one more thing I had to do, the base. I had to go register the base, so I had to click add the base, but then the old base I had to delete. There's the new base, and then I had to give set location for the new base. Now one thing, we did go outside and the live tracking worked really well. Normally when um, the old one was connected to Wi-Fi, it wouldn't kind of show me going or it wouldn't show the dog going around the house even though it was connected to the Wi-Fi. So, But this one did. Um, I had to click lost dog and we did live tracking that actually worked really well it showed us walking around the house even though we were still connected to um the wi-fi so i hope this video helps thanks everybody for watching